I'm preparing to do some upgrade videos on the Ender 3 Pro, and um, something has just um, kind of caught my eye. It does say Ender 3 Pro. It says B on here. And it says Ender 3 Pro here, but it says 270 watts. Hmm. What really caught my eye is this power supply. I've done a lot of reviews, and that is no mean well power supply. Now let's go ahead and head over to their website, Crowley3dofficial.com. And we will scroll down here, and there it is, Meanwhile Power Supply. Hmm. That was the big selling point of this uh, Under 3 Pro, is that you got an official Meanwell Power Supply. Now, where do shoppers also go? Ah, yeah, that's right. Some will go to Amazon. So let's pull up the one with the most ratings on here. Scroll down, scroll down here. Okay, what do we got here? Lots of advertising for filament. <laughs> And, all right, so this is from Congro, and there it is, Meanwell Power Supply. I guess the only thing to do now is to open it up and see what we have. Lucky for us, this is very easy to validate. First, we're going to turn it off, and then we're going to unplug it. For safety reasons, of course. We're going to remove the two screws that hold this power supply up vertically. And then, once we do that, we are going to then remove this plastic cover it's just held in with two screws pretty easy after we remove these two screws this protective cover just slides off and let's see what the reveal is oh and would you look at that a Creality power supply no this isn't a rebrand of a meanwhile it is actually a copy of a meanwhile I was actually talking with uh, TH3D before I uh, totally took this whole thing apart. And guess what? He just posted a video of what they look like internally side by side. And I'll put that video in the upper right hand corner. Now to be fair, we're going to head over to Crowdy.com. This is where they're transitioning to. You'll see that's still called the Ender 3 Pro. However, right on top, it's got a high quality power supply. UL certification and CE certification. Meanwhile, it's now taken off. Now, if you're going to change one of the components that made the Ender 3 Pro an Ender 3 Pro, like one of the major things, then rename the machine. Otherwise, you have all these content creators that made a video showcasing that had a Meanwhile power supply, and now you decided to change it. Now, I get that there are supply chain issues and stuff, but you can't just change a component that made the machine the machine. It's just simple. I mean, you're going to throw in your own power supply in it? Rename the machine. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, whenever you decide to watch this short video. Thank you again for tuning in.